For the best gameplay capture there is, pick up an Elgato today. Links are in the description. Hey guys, how's it going? Master Bucks here and welcome to the final episode of Season 2 for the Newcastle United career mode. Now, we have three games left to play. I'm playing each and every one of them and we are going to wrap up the Premier League season, hopefully with, uh, let me just confirm, it is still mathematically possible for us to finish as Premier League champions, but it's unlikely. You know, all we'd have to do is rely on Chelsea to lose every game, Spurs to lose every game, pretty much Manchester United to lose every game, and we'd have to win all of ours, which seems like a big ask, and I don't think it's going to happen. But we are at the moment trying to fight for our spot in the top four. We want to finish in the top four to get Champions League football next season, which I feel like it's crucial. If we don't get that, and I just do Europa League again, I'll feel very disappointed. If I can get Champions League, and I know I should, I know I have to. So let's do it then. Come on. Final episode of the season. I'm coming off of a pretty bad one. Got knocked out of the FA Cup on penalties, unfortunately, as well. We uh, lost our game against Stoke City as well, the last one, which was not good. We need to bounce back. Hopefully with a win at home against Hull City, a team that I think are going down this season. So surely, hopefully, they should be right for the picking. Before we get into the game, though, I'll let you know the player at the end of the previous episode was Gary Speed. Of course he was. Rest in peace. If you did get him correctly, congrats. A few people that did showing up there. And of course... If we can hit 2,000 likes, final episode of the Newcastle career mode, if we can hit that target, or should I say of this season, I'm going to upload another video. So, Newcastle versus Hull City. A pretty good team out there. Some rotation like Perez starting at centre attack in midfield. He seems to score every game he plays these days, even though he's not my preferred starting 11 centre attack in mid. Even though he's a striker playing him at centre attack in mid. You know how it is. Either way, Aarons is also in the game. Winks is in. No other changes to my defence apart from Haidara now starting at left back because... Lazar pissed me off way more, way too much in the last episode. He's done now. So yeah, that's it. That's the team. Come on. It's been a pretty low scoring season, I'll be honest. It's cool that we're on top, but 59 goals for the season. I kind of feel like, haven't we seen teams in recent seasons score close to or even over 100 goals in a year? And we're only three or in a season, and we're only three games away. I feel like it's been a very low scoring. This must be some shit Premier League season, that's for sure. It'll only be shit if we don't finish in the top four. Or it'll be amazing if we somehow pull off the win. Let's go. Hull City, their team looks pretty stock standard. And we're getting it kicked off. Three games left to go. Let's be professional about this. Come on, I already had, I already had all my shit games for the rest of the season out the way in the last episode. Come on. Oh my god, he's missed. Oh no, Dolberg. I just was... Fucking completely silent throughout all that, wasn't I? I was too busy concentrating. How has he missed that golden opportunity? Just taking care of business at the moment. Need a good delivery. Need to pick someone, anyone. Hydara? Hydara? Wow, that's alright. But unfortunately not amazing enough to beat Martial. Or Martial. I feel like Jose Mourinho right now, but it's like, fuck, they're just trying to defend for their lives at the moment. Good header. Up in the air. Can one of mine win it? Lascelles. Doesn't get it. Ah, oh, doesn't get it past him still. Off to the... Jose, shot saved, Martial. Um, if you can't tell, I'm really trying to focus. Dolberg, good cross. Oh, right up and in the air for Davies. And claimed by Martial. He was in front. I'd have thought he was got I thought he was gonna get that for sure. Curtis Davies over the back. They're just holding out right now for the draw. Yedlin, this is amazing! You are sensational! DeAndre Yedlin, and the ball right into Dolberg is dinked home over the keeper, and that's how we get it. This whole time, I've been keeping it on the ground, trying to pass my way in, and I've been getting no luck. One cross, one perfect delivery, and Dolberg scores. Look at that from Yedlin. Like, they don't go too far back, but Yedlin whips in a perfect cross for Kasper Dolberg, who just gets it through. And his goal drought is now broken. It'd been a while since his last goal, to be honest. He's picked up the odd assist here and there, but I mean, recently he's not been at his best, but there we go. You know what I'm gonna do here? You're gonna think I'm crazy, but I wanna try something absolutely ridiculously audacious. If it works. Oh my God, it nearly did. The keeper saved it, parried it onto the bar. Ayose Perry, Cyprian! Oh my God, how about the back heel attempt? That would have been magical, look. That is what I was trying to go for. Don't know why. It, it, it was actually really well measured in the end, but no, it's clearly not a goal. It's going to come off of the post and bounce out. Eyes wide open and a score! There we go! Silent throughout all of that as well. I think it must have gone through a pair of legs. And Ayose Perez, what have I told you? Every time I seem to play him, he scores. Still a very good finish. And you know, he's only two goals away from actually matching Dolberg's tally of 11 goals in the Premier League. 
And that's going to do it. Maybe we could have had one last chance as we took possession back. But it'll finish 2-0. That's okay with me. Goal difference at the moment doesn't really matter too much. I don't think we're going to be battling for positions if we just keep on winning. It won't come down to goal difference. We just need to get that fourth spot. If we can go higher, that's great. But really, it's that fourth spot. Just get in the top four. And we've, we've taken care of business here. It was a pumping. It was a murder. It was the right result. We had to have got the three points there, and we did. We took about 15-something shots, and they only took two. It was, yeah, it was no contest. My worry, I suppose, is that if I was really going through a good period where I was winning tons of games and just killing my opponents off, I could have won that game by like four or five goals. Take a look at this too. Stoke City and Newcastle United. I think really it's going to come down to those two because Stoke have a game in hand over like everybody else that's somewhat close to the top four. So if we can again win this game against Everton, maybe tough away, we'll be through. Or at least, you know, we could be so long as uh, Stoke don't win their next game, whoever it may be against. Either way, Everton now be Newcastle. A light rotation again. Lopez is back in. We got Shelby and Winks in the midfield. Lamar and Zaha. Armstrong starting up front. And Bama, the only change to the defense. Again, slight rotations here and there, considering the fact that we only have each game only four, or only four days apart at this point. So... Again, if we win this game, I think we pretty much lock down top four, depending on what happens. I don't know. There's also a goal difference that might come into it too. I think we should have a higher goal difference than Stoke anyway. So, yeah, we'll see. If we can win this, I think we'll be good. We are also now pretty much out of the question when it comes to the title race because there's only, what, six points left on offer for us to get. And they're on 69 points, both Manchester United and Chelsea. United, by the way, have a game in hand on Chelsea. So you would almost think that Manchester United are the team likely to win it. I'll keep my eye on that for sure. Definitely. We have to. Let's see Everton's side. It's a five at the back. I keep on forgetting team. How fucking amazing for us. Their actual team, though, doesn't look too different. I don't know who their number 40 is. They've got bloody Vincent Abubakar's uh, new signing. That's for sure. Five at the back. It's all packed and ready to go. All right, then. Well... We were having bloody uh, tough time breaking down Hull City. Now we have to do it away against Everton with their five in the back defense. I'm not sure. Back to Armstrong. No, no, Armstrong. God damn it, man. If you'd passed it to Armstrong, I think we would have scored there. Oh, good pass. And now away goes Shelby. Get, at least try to be getting in behind here, Armstrong. What are you fucking doing? And now, is that Luke Shaw? Shelby's got it back off him. Gets run into, and that's not a free kick. No, all right, great. Well, Shelby's now injured. Lamar, can you make the run? Oh, please squeeze it through. Can't exactly. Lamar gets it back. Space Lopez. Oh, over the crossbar. Oh, he snuck it. Winks. In in the middle. Little one in there. Cut it back if we can. If we can. If we can. Shelby, there we go. Right before half time. We've done it. He's been in and out of the side for like ages, John Joe Shelby. That's only his second goal for the Premier League season. And what a time to get it. Beautiful. Oh, look at Saar. Look at him go. Still, he's a freaking tank. Oh, absolutely. Taken out. Murdered. Oh, you're, that's not even going to be a fair... Oh, I was about to say, it's not even going to be a card. I don't think it is going to be a card. How many times have I done a tackle like that, either intentionally or unintentionally, and gotten sent off for it? Like a straight red. That wasn't even a card? Are you fucking kidding me? I don't want to overdo it, if you know what I mean. Why did it switch there? Why did it do that? Oh my god, no. Please, claim it if you can, Yedlin. What is this fucking shit? No. What is happening? What is fucking happening? Three minutes, stoppage time. I don't know how many we've got back, but they're going to get one last attack, or are they? Big slide tackle by Saar. Clean two. Lovely work. Let's keep it. Come on. Fucking how slow are these passes going at the moment? I need the options open. Off to the left. Good work again, Lopez. We're not going to get another attack. We'll hang on for a 1-0 win. We found a way to get the ball in the back of the net. Past that five at the back defense. And that is six points from six so far in this episode. We're doing way better than we were last episode. That too as well was a grind. It fucking was. Everton, man, it's five at the back. Sometimes you really can score no matter what, but that was tough. And look at this. Stoke City have either drawn or lost their game. I don't know exactly. I think they might have drawn it. But there's five points between us and them and fifth, pl and fifth place. We are going to finish in the top four. There's even a possibility that Spurs might end up finishing fourth as well. We could jump them if we either draw or win our next game and they lose or pick up a draw. If they win, then it's over. Then they're going to obviously finish in third. But we might even finish higher than just fourth. Let's just play the last game of the season then away at Anfield against Liverpool. We're playing... Both of the Liverpool clubs are fucking away. So I, I imagine we would have just stayed the week in bloody uh, in Liverpool for crying out loud. But that's it then. 
Last game of the episode. So last game of the season for us, Winks, Gettle and Saar. Some players still in the team that are a bit tired, but since it is the last game of the season, I'll just play them anyway. They should be okay. But that's that then. If we can get this win, there's a chance we could finish in third. It'd be nice to. I don't know what the possibilities are of us finishing fourth and somehow not qualifying for the Champions League. Maybe a team from outside the top four in the Premier League wins the Champions League. That'd be the only way, but... I mean, it would be nice to finish third. We'll see what happens, though. Let's just see. I've been able to beat Hull. I just got it done against, Ever um, against Everton. Let's see what happens when we face Liverpool. Liverpool, by the way, sitting in 10th and 6 points behind 9th as well. Like, that's where they're going to finish. Or it's at least the highest they're going to finish. They could go lower than that. Imagine if Liverpool don't finish in the top 10. Even Jurgen Klopp, it wouldn't be safe from that. But we're going for 9 points out of the final 9 after a pretty shaky end. They've got some new signings like Eric Dyer in the team. Let's see who else. That's pretty much it. What about on the bench? A couple of other, I don't know, Forsberg. I don't know if he's actually played. But Liverpool pretty much going with a very similar team. Let's go then. Last game of the Premier League season. This, it's, it's really just, come on. Let's make sure that we just take care of business and let's hopefully have a big, strong finish to the episode. Yedlin. Oh my god, what a save. Karius. Crossed. Back in. Saved again by Karius. He's had to make two very early. Oh, this is a madness. It's absolutely sensational! How about that? So quiet throughout all that, and I'm going to put it all in. It wasn't the most miraculous move of all time, but just... Cool, calm, patient, surrounded by players, just making the right runs, everyone going to where they need to be. And I even thought Kasper Dolberg might have been offside, but I think it might have just been on. Look at all that space that he had. Dragged away, I think. Who is that? Uh, genuinely can't tell. I don't know if it's Henderson or whoever it was. Maybe it was Eric Dyer. But he had all the space, and he just finishes it calmly. And if you want me to be honest, I was indeed looking for the sweat. But Perry sort of laid off the gas, and I was like, oh shit, I better finish this, and I did. That's okay. I know he was offside. I saw the flag raise. Uh, as a matter of fact, I didn't even try passing out. This is kind of funny. Missed that tackle again. I hate how a player like Lucas can do that. How is a player like Lucas fucking tearing me apart here? I am, I am not having it anymore. This is a joke. Oh my god, Lucas again. Why is he so sensational? Why? Why is he making all the intercepts? Why is he mugging me off? Why is, like, I'm breaking his leg. Next chance I get, fuck him. Oh my god! How did they not score that? I just saw Mane take the ball down in the box. Like, how fucking typical happens every fucking time he just gets all the space in the world to be able to do that. Look at this. It comes off of the player on the goal line, rolls along it, and then just hits the post and goes out. Absolutely incredible how it's not 1-1. Oh, what play. What play with a 1-2. I'm going to try this. Bang. Oh, went for it. Very close. And there we go, half time. Very good result. We are 1 0 up already. And now, can we go through to the second? Can we either see it out, make another one? We could have a big end to our season. And I'm getting someone on the line because I know that they're going to have a shot for sure. They can't be laying it off. He's going to go for it. It's a good effort. Comes off of the crossbar. Yellen with the acrobatics to get it away. Oh, if we work this well, it could be beautiful. It could be beautiful. Karius, Lamar, oh, we went for that top corner, couldn't find it. Good tackle, big one, let's go. God, there's just never anyone in space. Whenever I make that tackle, how do they constantly have us covered, but yet still look so threatening every time? Oh my God. You let him get past, who was that? I need to see who it was, headed it down. He just kept running forward and forward. It's, he's just going to run right past. It's in Bemba, and he just came on. I just subbed him on, why? Three minutes of stoppage time. Coutinho takes it down. Tackled by Winks. I don't think we're going to get the ball back in time. This is frustrating as hell. I can't believe it. Richie. He's kept it in. Pass. Are we ready to just fucking pounce on this? We better be. Look out the middle. Go. Dolberg might be able to do it. Fake shot. Can't get past Matip. How much pace does Matip have? How much pace does fucking Dolberg have? I could have tried it. I probably could have tried to have shot that, but I think the far corner would have been blocked by Matip, and the near post would have taken a really good shot. Just can't do it. The fake shots. Fuck everyone at the end of the game. I can't believe I've let it. Oh, I can't believe I've let it slip. Fucking Mbemba. Oh, he's pissed me off several times this season, hasn't he? 
I'm going in for new centre backs next season. I'm going in for new left backs, centre backs. There's a not an overhaul coming, but definitely making sure that certain players play as little football as possible. And if Spurs lost their game, oh my god, they didn't. Oh, Manchester United were the team that played them as well. That might have massive implications to Chelsea. Chelsea lost to West Brom. If Chelsea won their game against West Brom, they would have won the league. Manchester United drew against Spurs, which means that if we won, we would have gone third, but that's not going to be the case now. Manchester United win. If Chelsea beat West Brom, they would have won. But that is it then. Manchester United will win. They scored 56 goals for the season, which is like nothing. We scored the most with only 63. And it's only 71 points that they get that wins them the Premier League. Extraordinary. It would appear as though both teams tried to bottle winning the league as hard as they could on the last day, except Manchester United bottled it just a little bit less than Chelsea did. And yeah, that's that. Donnarumma now very close to an 84. Only the one player that needs an update to his contract, and that's going to be Kevin Mbappé. I'm going to give it to him, uh, and hopefully he'll accept that. He's 72 overall. Could hopefully grow to become a good backup, young backup right back for us. So how about this for a troll? Oh, Donnarumma was absolutely going to get to an 85. I think if his reflexes and his handling went up to an, uh, the next level, that would have taken him to an 85 for sure. But he's gone away on duty, so that means he's not going to be able to get the drills to take him to an 85. What a troll. I'm going to take that as a fucking win anyway. I know he's not 85, but he absolutely would have been still. Good prediction, me. Anyway, it's a fucking... That just sounds sad. I'll tell you what I think I'm going to do instead. I'm going to give his drills to Mbappe Lotin. I think I'm going, to make, I'm going to make him my star backup striker for the moment. Who knows, you know, as well. I might actually be able to make him uh, so good that I might want to have to look at swapping up my formation to incorporate both Dolberg and Kylian Mbappe. That would be a great... That would be sensational to have both of them in the team. But yeah, that's that then. We'll continue with... Uh, I think this is the last drill of the season, really. We'll just get it out of the way. I don't actually know why the fuck I even bothered because the drills get reset every season. You have to re-put them in, but fuck it. That's what I'm going to go with for now. I might even swap up the three players getting drills between Dolberg, Lopez, and Hydara. But one last look before I forget as well. The teams that got relegated. Aston Villa in 18th. Everton in 19th. Not, like, I, I'm almost not surprised by that anymore. It's almost like I should be saying, what the fuck? Everton got relegated, but they get relegated all the fucking time. Everton, even Liverpool get relegated from time to time. It's crazy. Sunderland finishing on the bottom. Nothing too surprising about that. They're going to go, and we're not going to have any time we derbies unless it's in the cup competition next season. And what about the teams that are going up, though? Norwich and Burnley are the two that we know are going to be back, and it's either Watford, Reading, Ipswich, or Fulham that come back in. We'll find out who. Looking at the FA Cup 2, by the way, United were the team that I thought were going to make it to the final, and they did. West Brom, the team that knocked us out on penalties, lost 2-1 to them in the final. If we were in it, might have gone another way. Who knows? We might have lost it on penalties, just like we did in the fucking semis. Who knows? But either way, that was that 2-1 win for United. Tottenham won the EFL Cup. We made it all the way through to the quarterfinals, and I swear I must have simulated that game against QPR because I, there's no way I remember being knocked out by QPR and playing the match. And fucking hell, Manchester United won the Champions League as well. They did the fucking treble. They did the treble. They won the league, they won the FA Cup, and they won the Champions League. Manchester United just did the treble. Bloody hell, Manchester United. As it would turn out, um, apparently buying every single good fucking striker in career mode has worked out pretty well for them because, my goodness, the treble. You don't, you don't, you don't honestly see that too often from teams that aren't yourself. Normally, if you don't, if you just go on a freaking tear and you just win every single competition, then yeah, sure. But wow, I yeah, I did not think that they would have won the treble. That's very impressive still. Looking at all the other teams and all the other players that we have, guys that have made some appearances, minor ones, guys that have gone up by a little bit. I'm sure we're about to approach some of the more Deadwood players now that I will be looking to move on next season. We've got a few players loaned away too. Uh, Tony up to a 70, 72 for Mbabu there, and a couple other players here and there. Cool. Looking at some of our top, top performers though, the guys that scored the most goals, got the most assists and all that, we have got the uh, 11 goal, 5 assist man, Thomas Lamar there, 84 rated. Maxime Lopez played 40 games, got 10 goals and 6 assists, which is okay too. But Casper Dolberg, 46 appearances, 23 goals, 10 assists, by far the standout, the standout when it comes to that. 
He only scored 12 in the Premier League after 32 games, but was good for nearly a goal a game in almost every other competition. And Iose Perez too, 39 appearances, a fair few of them off the bench, and yet he got 15 goals and 7 assists. But there we go then, we've reached the end of the second season, we finished fourth in the Premier League, Champions League football to look forward to next season, and let's see if we can do bits in it, hopefully we can. But until the third and final season with Newcastle, my name's the Masterbucks, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a good one.